Hello, it's Tito from Jazz Mind, and this is another Motivational Monday for musicians. Today's message is a special back-to-school message for both students and teachers. The first people I want to address are the middle schoolers and high schoolers who are serious about music, serious about practicing and getting better. I want to encourage you that no matter how many extracurricular activities you're enrolled in, you carve out that time. That practice time should be precious. Keep a practice journal so that you can really chart your progress from day to day and you can gain momentum with your practice sessions. The only true way you gain momentum is by practicing a few things and getting really, really good at those before moving on, as opposed to trying to dabble in 50 different things. And if staying focused is difficult for you, then go ahead and use a timer. Sometimes it's better to practice 15 or 20 minutes using a timer, but you're gonna go all in for those 15 or 20 minutes than practicing 30 or 40 minutes or an hour where you're kind of scattered and you're not really setting goals and trying to achieve them. Next, I want to talk to my group of students, the college students. Welcome back to school, or if you're a new student, welcome to college. Going to music school during college was one of my favorite times of my life, to be honest with you. I just loved being around people who were really dedicated, really committed. It was uh, inspiring and it, it, it just ran me right back to the practice room. But as we all know, college isn't always fun and music school isn't always fun. And one thing about music school is you're gonna be constantly bombarded by your professors and your classes and your rehearsals. You're gonna be bombarded by things that you can't do and really becoming aware of your weaknesses. For many of you, that might be the first time that you encounter this. Coming from your high school, you were the big shot. Now you come into college and it's like, wait a minute, it's time to really bog down and get to work. But I wanna encourage you all with this. The way college is set up, you're gonna be receiving way more information than you could expect to process in a four-year degree, or if you're a grad student, a two-year degree. And I can tell you this, and I know a lot of professionals would agree with me, that you don't process everything you learned in college until years after you've left college, until you've had experiences in the professional ranks. That's really your postdoc, if, as it were. So rather than get discouraged by constantly focusing on the things that are difficult for you, what I want you to do is focus on your fundamentals, fundamentals of your instrument, fundamentals of the musical styles that you're learning. And when you come across something that you find interesting or cool, but you know you don't really have the time to commit to learning that right now, write it down, keep a journal. Write all, keep it all in one place because you're gonna get to it. You just may not be able to get to it right now because you're choosing to focus in on things that you know are going to set you up for a long, lengthy career in music. And finally, for my teacher and educator friends, welcome back. Know that your work really does matter. You're impacting lives for the future generations of young artists. And it's really a privilege and honor what we get to do uh, for our living. I know you've heard this before, but keep in mind that our students really do look up to us. They seek uh, our approval. I wanna share with you all something that I had to learn as a college professor. I've been a college professor now for 19 years and Early on, I struggled to acknowledge progress with my students. Uh, it was my assumption that everybody wanted to be a professional and was just ready to grind it out and didn't necessarily need a lot of verbal affirmation. And I realized over time that it was important that when I asked a student to do something and then the very next week they came back and they illustrated that they did it, to acknowledge that 
before going on to the next thing. It doesn't mean that they arrived, that they're there, but it does mean that they're making progress. And that's something that we should celebrate. This will give the students the security that you're really in their corner and you're pulling hard for them. The other thing I wanna share with you is I know many of you uh, work hard all day. You've got conferences to plan for. You've got books to write. You've got albums you're putting together. And it can be overwhelming, especially for those of you with families like me. Don't forget the quiet times and carve out the space in your days for those quiet times. The quiet walks, the morning readings, the, the meditations, the prayers. It's so important as fast as our lives are when school is on. And so just want to encourage you with that. I want to wish everybody a fantastic year of musical growth companionship, camaraderie, and community. Have a great school year, everybody. If you like this video, then like the video and comment. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss whenever one of my videos drops. Until next time, peace.